Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we'll be discussing about bilinear transformation. This bilinear transformation is a method of converting an analog filter to digital filter. That is, we'll be taking the analog filter transfer function. From the analog domain, we are going to convert the transfer function to digital domain. Okay. So hence, we uh, produce a digital filter or hence, we uh, convert the analog filter to digital filter. So what are the steps involved in this conversion or in this bilinear transformation? We are going to see in this video. And also we will be doing a question in which you have to actually convert an analog filter transfer function to digital domain. Okay. So let us see about bilinear transformation. So in today's video we are going to discuss about bilinear transformation. We have already done a video uh, about Butterworth filter and applying bilinear transformation how can we convert the transfer function from analog to digital domain. But in this video we are going to see what we are actually doing in bilinear transformation. So the bilinear transformation and also impulse invariance, these are the two most commonly used methods we apply to convert a transfer function in analog domain to digital domain. So uh, if a transfer function is given in analog domain, most commonly it will be in HFS form or in the Fourier, Fourier domain form. Okay. So the transfer function. So if a transfer function is uh, in the analog domain, then most commonly it will be in the Laplace transform form or in the Laplace domain it will be if it is an analog transfer function. So we have to convert this transfer function to digital domain or to that of a that is we have to convert the transfer function to a digital filter transfer function and for digital filter we commonly represent the transfer functions in EZ domain. Okay. So this conversion we are actually doing in bilinear, tra bilinear transformation. Also in the impulse invariance method. We have already done a video on impulse invariance method. So here in bilinear transformation, here also we are going to convert from analog. So this is analog. From analog to digital. So we are actually converting an analog filter to digital filter. So, we are transforming the analog transfer function to digital transfer function from H of S, S to H of Z. So, how this conversion is done in bilinear transformation? Let us see. So, your transfer function will be given in H of S form. So, you have to convert to H of Z, right? So, how we do this conversion in bilinear transformation is by substituting S as or we are going to replace s terms all the s terms with 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse so wherever you are going to see an s term you are going to replace that s terms with 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse so all the s will be replaced with z terms okay so hence we are doing the conversion So, wherever you are going to see S in your transfer function, H of S, you are going to replace all those S terms with 2 by T 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. Okay. So, that we are going to do here. So, now let us do this question by applying bilinear transformation. The question is, apply bilinear transformation to H of S equal to 2 by S plus 1 into S plus 2 with T equal to 1 second. Okay. So, first I am going to write down the transfer function once again h of s equal to 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 and I am going to rewrite or I am going to replace s with 2 by t 1 minus s inverse by 1 plus s inverse. Okay. So, this is actually a very simple method. If you have the analog transfer function then it is very easy to do. If you do not have you have to uh, apply either Shebishi uh, form or Butterworth form. It will be given in the question actually. So, you have to first find the transfer function for your analog filter. Then convert that to digital domain. Okay. So, if it is given directly like this, then it is very easy. You just have to apply the conversion S to. So, the conversion is S converted to 2 by T. 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. Okay. So, here T is equal to 1. So, it is 2 by 1 or 2. Now, I am going to apply this here. 
H of Z will be now it is in Z domain. All the S terms are getting converted. Okay, so H of Z will be equal to two into here I am going to substitute as this two into one minus Z inverse by one plus Z inverse plus one into here again the second term. 2 into 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse then plus 2. So, these are your two terms. So, we have just substituted S as 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. Sorry, 2 by T 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. Since here T is 1, we are not writing it. If T is some other value, you have to put 2 by T value, whatever it is. You have to put that here. Okay. Then 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. Here also and we have put here also. Now only thing is to simplify. So while simplifying that is cross multiplying and simplifying. You will be getting the term as 2 into 1 plus Z inverse square by 3 minus Z raised to minus 1. That is Z inverse into 4. So you can. Cancel this 2 and 4. There will be a 2 in the denominator. You can take this 2 inside. It will be 6 minus 2 is at inverse. Okay. 2 is at inverse. And you can now divide the numerator and denominator by 1 by 6. Then you will be getting 0 0.166 into 1 plus is at inverse square by 1 minus so you are dividing here also and here also sorry you are actually multiplying with 1 by 6 for numerator and denominator okay so if you are multiplying with 1 by 6 you will be getting 0 0.33 is said in so this is actually simplification part i am actually leaving up to you so to whichever extent you want to simplify you can go for it uh, if you want to stop till here or if you if you would like to stop it till here then it's all all fine you'll be getting more than half marks more than 80 percentage of mark you'll be getting okay so the concept is what you are actually doing in bilinear transformation is you are converting s to 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse that is the most important part you should be knowing okay so wherever you are seeing s you are going to replace it with this term T value will be given in the question. If it is not given in the question, you have to. Uh, the most common uh, way is to take T as 1. Okay. It will be given in the question anyway. So, I am telling it once again. Bilinear transformation is actually a way of converting analog filter transfer function to digital filter transfer function. So, we can convert from analog domain to digital domain. So, here we are doing is what we are doing here is h of s is converted to h of z by taking all s terms and converting that to z domain and the conversion we are applying here is this so i'm really hoping that you understood the concept of bilinear transformation why it is being done and what is being done in that also we have done a video on impulse invariance method in dsp you are studying these two most common way of conversion of analog filters to digital filters okay so, if you understood bilinear transformation, please do give it a thumbs up and also do share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.